Welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave. And welcome to Episode 8, SpaceX Starships on the Moon by 2022. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets myself and YouTube know you're enjoying these videos. SpaceX wants to put Starship on the Moon by 2022. These flights will be contracted to NASA through their CLPS program also known as their Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program. SpaceX is one of five additional companies that have been selected to be part of this program. In addition to SpaceX, these five companies will include Blue Origin, Ceres Robotics, Sierra Nevada Corporation, and Tyvek Nano Satellite Systems. Blue Origin has submitted its Blue Moon Lander capable of landing several tons of equipment and materials on the lunar surface. Ceres Robotics submitted this concept art of the lander they wish to build. This lander is on the smaller side, but still able to perform many of the tasks that NASA requires. This is an artist concept drawing of Sierra Nevada's lunar lander. It will offer rapid deliveries of payloads to the lunar surface. And this is a concept of what Tyvek Nano Satellite Systems plans to build. All of these landers seem to be very capable in their own right. Out of all of these projects that were submitted, there are truly only two that have heavy lift potential. First is Blue Origin's Blue Moon Lander with a 4.6 metric ton cargo capacity. It will have the ability to place satellites into orbit around the moon before landing. Then it impacts the lunar surface. Sorry, Jeff. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> what I meant to say was, and Blue Moon makes a perfectly executed landing on the lunar surface. At which point it will start its mission objective. It will also be able to carry and deploy up to four lunar rovers. This is a very impressive payload capacity. But in comparison, it's dwarfed by SpaceX Starship, which has a cargo capacity to the moon of 100 metric tons.
And yes, SpaceX will have lunar rovers also.